Hi Gemini, welcome to my channel. We're doing your dailies. This is your 3 to the 4th Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Good morning, America. Good morning, world. Go with the flow, Gemini. In my schedule today, I go with the flow. Mm -hmm. mm. Meaning, if things doesn't go and work out in your favor, it means it's actually going in your favor. You just don't see the bigger picture. Okay? Let's see here. Uh, okay. I've manifested what you want to manifest also. I'm working with you on that one. Okay, let's see what you guys got for me. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. These are dailies. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, my schedule wasn't working out today. <laughs> Here we go. Ooh, too much. No. Too much. Maybe just you're just trying to figure yourself out. You're a little bit scattered. Put yourself together. Okay. Here we go. Mm hmm Mm. Knight of Swords, what's up with that? Attitude much, Gemini? Or someone has an attitude towards you. I sense his attitude, like, good morning, you know, someone's doing this to you. It's just like, sarcastic, you know, someone's being sarcastic, or you're being sarcastic to someone. Uh -huh. And is it out of nowhere, or this has intention? I believe this has intention. So you have an intention to talk to someone, or they have intention to talk to you about, like, because it's it's a message that you don't expect and that is harsh and well can probably not harsh but you might feel like rude you know it's just like i don't i don't deserve that you know but you're gonna give if you're giving this to that other person you're saying um sal they deserved it <laughs> that's what i see here okay <laughs> so for you basically you're justifying the situation the way that you communicate if it's coming from you they deserve it. If it's going to you, I sense here you're saying, it's like, I don't deserve this. <laughs> okay. So that's the why that you're right there. Let's see what's the other person. Oh, wow. Page of Swords. So definitely, um, this is like both talking to each other, and I believe there's going to be a problem here, okay? Because the other one is a Page of Swords. So the other one is not doesn't know how to talk, so the other person is just going to break out and they're just going to go attack the other person. So be careful. It's a potential argument because the Page of Swords is, can be younger or they don't know how to how to vibe with you as far as like communication or ideas even on how you guys see a relationship. Um, this can be a Scorpio or a Taurus and you have your, you know, as your Zodiac over here. You could be dealing with another air sign. Um, be careful because it's, it's almost like you also don't see what's coming you to you with regards to the communication. So it's a surprise, and I'm hearing like a surprise attack, like a surprise something. I don't see it coming. Let's see here. Okay. For some, it's a surprise opportunity about a job that you've been waiting for. Um, you could be dealing with clients also over here. Knight of Swords with the King of Pentacles. All of a sudden, something gets approved. Okay. Can be your boss also. It's like, hey, good morning. You are a winner. Something like that. The King of Pentacles is telling you that you are a winner. I'm not sure why, but you are a winner. Okay, so that's that's a kind of morning email, for example, a morning text message, and then you got a promotion or something like that. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing here. Hmm? Very positive on that note. Um, if you're connecting with an earth sign, you're about to shatter their silence. It's like, knock, knock, I'm here at your front, you know, at your front porch. Okay. Virgo Taurus Capricorn. If you have earth in your chart over here, um, let me see, do you have earth in your chart? Well... Either you're stocking up on savings, you're stocking up on something, definitely. Okay. Let me see the other person. Ooh, okay. All right. Because I said Taurus earlier, and you have your Venus. Okay. I'm not sure where Venus is right now, if it's it's still in Leo. Because last time I checked, it was in Leo. Okay. So I could be connecting with someone who is a Venus in Leo. Okay. Oh, but it's also Leo time also. Venus doesn't go far from where the sun is going, but the sun hasn't shifted to to Leo yet. Okay, I'm just saying. Now, come back. Someone here doesn't know how to express himself. Can be a Scorpio that you're dealing with. Um, this person, I rather stalk you, watch you, and not not talk to you. But they look at you. It's just like you are the goddess from heaven. You are the, the you know the divine. Okay, of all the girls that this person has met. I didn't say divine feminine. I don't usually use the divine feminine, divine masculine. I don't really connect with that. I really don't know what it means, okay? So if you guys connect with that one, then, um, you know, um, that's how this person sees you. It's like you are their, um, 
um, is that divine feminine, okay? Because I don't use it. This is the first time I ever use it in this channel. So maybe that's how this person really sees you or you see them in that way, okay? Um, if you are creating a business over here, you are in the path of success, abundance, and pure gold. <laughs> Not sure what that means, but that's good if you're manifesting uh, finances. Okay, under the king of pentacles. Oh, see, finances and then wheel of fortune. You are on the money. You are on the money and we are going to see the transit, of course. You are my first read today. It won't get clearer than this. <laughs> well, it always gets clearer. Okay. <laughs> so, Wheel of Fortune, you are on the money. This Jupiter, sudden luck, sudden shift of finances. And you're, not, you're talking about, oh, I'm doing well to what happened. It's just like, why is there so much money? <laughs> okay. And I've seen that happen. Trust me. Believe and it shall come. Okay. Want it and it won't come. Just believe. Okay. It's different. Believing, wanting, needing, those three, you stay with the believing. You don't you don't go to the wanting, you don't go to the needing. Go in the believing. Okay. Believing. Okay. So Wheel of Fortune, okay. Again, um, because some people are vibing with the business, career, and finances right now here from what I'm seeing. Go do it. Okay, put where the money is or you're dealing with someone who has a strong earth. Okay, of course, this can be a, a fa father image over here with, with the king of pentacles. So there's something big. Okay, nah. now, of course, you can say, like, oh, I want love. Okay, fine, you want love. Then something good in love is coming towards your way. Now, I will tell you when. Okay, because I'm going to see there in the extended reading. There is something fruitful that will come to you. Chances are, if you're wanting a baby, it will come to you also. Um, it, um, I hope it becomes a family, not just a baby. You know, you know, it's like we can have families and babies, you know, in, in all different forms. I don't want to be judgmental on that one because I'm not here to judge. Oh wow, Eight of Pentacles. Show up at work, and you you really want to work, okay? Eight of Pentacles with the Empress card over here, okay. This is putting your eye on the money. Okay, who are you? Because your eye is on the money. It's like you're watching someone make money, okay? <laughs> and pay just so you're just a creep next to the person watching someone put their money okay page of swords is like you know um watching okay watching someone make money and then the empress gets it that's how the empress right receive 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 okay now come back because you want love okay the way it works here if you're dealing with an earth sign okay there is a big shift in their energy okay if you have earth sign there's a big shift also okay when i say the big shift it it's going wherever you're at so I'm pretty sure you're here because you're trying to get answers. So the answer is going to be given to you. Okay. Now, the answer is going to be given to you with regards to putting focus more in the love energy. Okay. So there's something that's going to grow. There's something that's going to manifest. There's something that's going to increase. There's something that's going to develop. Okay. It reaches first to yours, to your own success, and then it reaches to the person. You understand me? You will be complete as a whole. And then when you're complete and whole, the relationship manifests. That's what I'm seeing here. Okay, I mean, that's, you know, it's like you become, you're with, you're going to be with someone. And this is only this card, but I'm seeing you're going to be with someone. But I'm going to continue this reading, of course. Next to this is the snippets, okay? Um, and then, of course, I'm going to plot the times, uh, the dates that I will see. Okay. All right. So, thank you very much, guys, for watching. Oh, my God, this scary is a mess. Uh, I'll see you guys again. <laughs> Bye. Hi, Gemini. So, you guys already see on YouTube, we have the Wheel of Fortune. This is the extended. What to expect in the extended? Multiple dates. Multiple days also. Particular periods of months. Only if you vibe on a person resonation. It's, it's almost like... How dare you get everything, Gemini? <laughs> That's the only thing I can say. <laughs> okay. It's just like, first time I don't, I'm mean, like, how I wish I would. No, like, I have a Gemini or a strong Gemini on my side. <laughs> because it's amazing. Alright, so thank you very much, guys. Thanks for the snippets. Bye. Okay. Because the cups is, oh, uh, you could be connected with someone as a choir even further. Nine of Cups is wish granted. And you got the star card also. On a possible outcome. Wow, possible outcome. Um, hello. The sun card, someone is coming towards you. If you're dealing with someone already, then this person comes to you. 